So this was my first image that I ever created with um, Mid Journey and I was sat um, near the Tower of London on my lunch. So, I was, so when when you uh, when you work in um, central London, um, you've always got quite a good access to monuments and stuff like that. So, I used to walk, even though it was like a 10, 15 minute walk. I used to walk just to look at the Tower of London whilst I had um, whilst I had my lunch. So, um, so this next one, this was my first LinkedIn post about mid journey and at the time I was like a little bit hesitant to post because no one in the office got it <laughs> even the graphic designer <laughs> he didn't get it he wasn't even using it and um, I remember thinking this might be embarrassing and it, it to a certain extent it was a little bit embarrassing because no one understood this technology and they just thought it looks like a crappy image that someone's done <laughs> like maybe some crappy photoshop work and then of course you know mobile phones um wonder what you can do here and i i really was taken by you know what you could do and like you know how easy it was again mad men was coming up for me again so i was, I was i've always been into androids and robots you know i'm a sci-fi geek so i like star wars star trek all that sort of stuff chris rock chris rock you got slapped by will smith not long after this or maybe it was before i can't remember uh this one was um <laughs> this one was when I was doing it in shopping centers. So I was with my girlfriend. I was like, base, base, look at this, look at this. I, thought I must have done about a hundred of these, trying to work out how to do the prompts properly, how to get Bocker in the background. Um, eventually, I think we went to a diner that day, American style diner. Again, the sci fi stuff. I've never really um, stopped doing the sci fi stuff. Uh, this, is, this is like when I was like, oh my God. You could do Jennifer Lawrence. That's uh, that's quite amazing. Um, so this but this isn't my this isn't really my work. This is just a, a prompt I've stolen from somewhere. Um, just testing just to see what happens. Um, this this is of someone I know, and it looks really like her. Really like her. She was like really over the moon when she saw that. Um, this one, uh, James James gave me the prompt for this one. He was one of the first people that I went to to say, you know, how are you doing um, what you're doing because that your stuff's really cool. I really looked up to him at the time. I still do, James. I still do, James. Um, again, some stolen prompts. You've probably seen these. I think I got this from a um, from YouTube thing. Um, at the time, if it wasn't my work, I usually used to put the prompt in so people, at least people could do some of the stuff. Um, oh yeah, Marta. Uh, Marta, I, uh, I don't know how to pronounce her last name. She also also was very helpful when I first started, so thank you, Marta. Um, and then... Oh, automate. Oh, I was automating... I was automating... Um, Mid journey at the time, so um, I, I I got someone to write some code for me that made a bot in um, in Discord, and I would put it on relax mode, and um, I would I would set it going all night, and it would do prompts for me, and then I would watch them all back and 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 learn you know what did what does and doesn't work, and then um, and then this helps me and and I ended up posting quite a lot of that content uh, but this is back when I didn't even change the aspect ratio I was just like quite happy with squares <laughs> can't even do stuff like this anymore deep faking Biden doesn't like it uh, lots of celebrities though oh yeah oh by the way look if you ever see like I've done stuff like this I've, I've covered most things in mid journey so if you ever see oh look he's doing Dali I do Dali you know just be aware I've probably covered it about a year ago um, so yeah just doing doing stuff that's more me uh, my style really hasn't changed that much it's just the technology that has um, stuff I like to take pictures of. Oh, this series here, although it said eight, I don't know what the eight means. I think it's something to do with comments. Yeah, it's comments. Yeah, this one got 47 likes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and when you're quite early on in the mid journey journey, <laughs> the mid journey journey, um, you are like, what? <laughs> I didn't know you could do that. This, this series also got quite a lot. I remember it was late at night after I'd finished work and I had posted it during the day. And I was like, shit, I did not know people like this stuff so much. 
and this all really inspired me you know the, the more likes i was getting the the more i was more you know linkedin game you basically you know they encourage you when you start seeing all the likes come in they really encourage you to keep with <laughs> oh my god look at this <laughs> Look at his little hat. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a king, king, king hamster. Oh look, super hamster. <laughs> He's in space. He's in space. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and then this is when I was like really experimental. Um, skateboard art. Skateboard stickers. Oh yeah, skateboard stickers. Yeah. Not that I was ever into skateboarding. I mean, I was a little bit when I was a child, but I was sandboarding. This is when I was trying to do mixed, mixed stuff. Um, yeah. Still haven't seen anyone do this, by the way. I still haven't seen anyone do this. I think one of the reasons why I did the helmets was because was, I was like, man, that looks so realistic. I, every day, I mean... It, uh, really at the beginning like w from going from like version 2 to version 3 was such like a huge leap um it's not like that anymore you do you do get in advancements and they are of they obvious advancements um but it's not like it was back then um and it's the same with um it's the same with what you call it with cameras like my ten, my ten, twelve-year-old camera that I use just for a webcam now, um, you know, there are technical differences between that version of the camera and today's version of the camera, the Mark V. That's the Mark II I'm using, the 5D. Don't know if there's any 5D users in the crowd, but um, how many minutes have been recording for? Seven minutes. I might stop soon. Um. Yeah, the differences between like a 10 year old camera is not as vast as a 20 year old camera. And we're going to get to a point now where the image clarity, image color actually won't get any better with cameras. And the advancements are only going to be within the realm of frames per second, uh, megapixels, um, dynamic range. Um, those are the only things that are really going to change um, I can think of off the top of my head. Yeah, yeah. I mean, although at the time I thought these were really good, I didn't think you could get much better. Um, eventually, we would see that it would, Mid Journey would get much better. So, let me see. Yeah, this one did really well. This is still today one of my best posts. And I don't know why it did so well. I think it's because it, it's a beautiful woman's face. It was in the a AICC, which is mostly men. And um, these are the droids you're looking for. And um, immediately you make a connection with the audience because um, Star Wars, people in that group are most likely into Star Wars. And I remember I, we, we had friends around in the morning, um, in the afternoon, and I'd posted it in the morning. And... <laughs> And a couple times throughout the day, I was like, "Guys, guys, it's on, it's on three thousand impressions. <laughs> it's on four thousand. <laughs> What's going to happen tomorrow?" But then it stopped by the end of the day. I think by the end of the day, I think it got to six thousand in the end. Um, I still use this stuff. Yeah, the, this image here, I still use it in image prompting just as tests. Oh, someone absolutely ripped this picture off. They took it. Put it on their own profile, passed it off as their own work, didn't even mention my name. And when I found it, I was like, well, obviously I'm going to find it. We're, we're first connections. And I said to him, mate, you're not even going to say my name or anything. No, no, just going to post it without any attribution. Um, again, like I thought these were really sharp and they were really sharp for mid journey at the time until this is probably version four. This is probably version four, possibly five. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, back then you always had, the way you could tell back then was the texture on the skin. That's how you could tell if it was fake. And it never used to do hair very well. I don't know if it. I can't remember if it does hair. Uh, yeah, it does hair much better now. That was always a way you could tell. There was always a texture in the hair, um, which which and teeth didn't work, look hundred percent either. Um, Future Fashion. Oh, yeah, the Future Fashion series. This one did really well. 
Um, so I just I just kept uh, I just kept doing these ones. I think I did about ten of these. So if I if I get a good reaction or I think the work is really good, I'll just do. I think for this series I did about a hundred, maybe even a thousand images. Um, that's that's when I really started excelling. So if I did like a thousand of the same prompt or a thousand of similar prompts, that's when I know I've I've really gotten onto something and I started creating something quite unique. So I mean, I always although the, the this has been done to death now, um, the, the 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 cyber thing, cyberpunk. Um, but at the time, not many people had explored it. Um, or at least I hadn't seen people exploring it much. Oh, look, this is the, the, I got a little bit political with this one, that oil and how we need it. Um, this, although not many people... I, I can't remember... If, okay, three likes. No likes. 44 likes. Okay, yeah. So one of them did really well. Um, I was just about to say, like, even if... This that doesn't get many likes. This is still one of my strongest concepts. Um, oh yeah, and then some, uh, abstract symphony. Oh yeah, yeah. It's basically like a bit like double exposure mixed with artwork. And um, again, same thing. I was really blown away by these, and um, and uh, yeah, I just kept doing um, the abstract symphony series. Yeah, I carried on up here, robot. Yeah, I mean, so I, my naming conventions are always quite simple, one-word things or two-word things, um, because um, uh, less is more, and the smaller, the shorter the word, the bigger the word can be on the screen, grabs your attention more. <laughs> so um, I think um, I think a lot of these these images here eventually they got turned into videos. Uh, anyway, look, I don't want to spend too much time so I'll just go through the best stuff so these ones are animated gifs but I don't do them anymore because they take so long to make um, runway this is uh, when I started doing runway so this is about nine months ago um, oh, this one's quite interesting because um, I took this artwork from another image made all of this in Photoshop and then and then did that and it was like another take on the the pink floyd album uh which i listened to recently and i can't get into it i pink floyd's not my sort of bag um this one's two images the background image and then this image was overlaid the lens flare so this was the first stuff i was doing in musophere um but it's the, in the end i still found um i still found what you call it uh, mid journey was was my favorite gives me the style that i'm looking for yeah, done loads of cool stuff. Loads of cool stuff. Um, this this is some of my favourite stuff actually. Even today, I still I still really like these images. Um, uh, this is when when tuned came out, Star Tuner. So I just called them tuned, and then um, the thing is about Mid Journey is that you've got to jump on the, the latest features as soon as you can. I'm getting close to the 15 minutes. I'm going to have to wrap this up soon. Um, yeah, so always jump on the latest features, even if it seems a bit daunting, um, because you end up getting the most unique work that hasn't been seen before, hasn't been done before. Um, torn. Um, yeah, what, what else have I done here? Oh, this is a, a collab I did with um, Isabel Gomez. Yeah, good doing collabs is also good because you know you come out your shell, and um, you know you learn you, you learn some stuff, you learn some methods that um, you wouldn't usually do, and um, we're not far from recently now. We've got the C ref stuff coming in. See what I'm saying about. You know, when when you jump on the latest feature of Mid Journey, um, it just it just excels your work. Like I mean, this is nothing like I've done before. Um, so yeah, so there we go, and then there we go, and then that's yesterday, I think. There you go. But that's my last year of Mid Journey.